Larry, where is your where did your drive, where is your intensity come from? Where's that, where's that born out of? Uh, I guess really when I was, you know, coming up, when I first started playing football, uh, a lot of people know the story, but I just wanted to, you know, be the best, and I always felt that, you know, hard work and dedication would, you know, take me to where I needed to go. So every day that's what I come out to do, just trying to be the best. I think, I mean, we're doing fairly well, but we can always be more productive. I feel like there's areas that we can clean up in the pass rush and in the running game, but for right now, I feel like we're making the strides because we are a young D-line, but I feel like we got the right pieces to go out there and do what we need to do every Sunday. But your growth from last year to this year, well, how would you measure that? Um, just the ability to, you know, play more and uh, understanding, you know, recognizing different blocking schemes and being able to rush the passer, you know, better. And then, you know, my off-season training, uh, I really focus on, you know, pass rush because I always felt like I was a good run stopper, but I wanted to be able to be good at the pass too. That way I could get after the quarterback. So I feel like it was just part of me being on the field more and then just me paying attention to detail. Do you like when people call you a grinder? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, that's what I am. You know, I work really hard. You know, every day I try to put my best foot forward and, you know, find ways to just continue to get better. So I don't mind it. What stands out when you watch Philip Rivers? <clears throat> um, he's a veteran. You know, he gets the ball out really quick. A lot of teams, uh, same way with last week, you see an O-line that doesn't give up many sacks, and then you wonder, you know, are they just really stout, or is it more that just the quarterback is getting the ball out so fast? And that's what, you know, uh, Phillip is really good at, just getting the ball out really fast. So. Their teammate, you guys got really close a lot last week against Flacco, and he was able to wiggle out of that. Is that like an emphasis this week? Um, yeah, just every week you want, you know, we want to finish your plays, especially when you get there. It's kind of frustrating to get there and then see the ball come out, or where you think you got him, and you know he squared the ball out. So uh, just being able to you know wrap up, knowing where to grab him, you know, start swiping at the ball to get the ball out that way, you know, because the ball hits the ground, you know, sack, force, fumble, and it makes it easier on everybody. So just you know, find ways to get him down, wrap him up, and just you know finish the play. When you look at those running backs, what do you see? Uh, as Eckler far, um, I mean, they're hard runners, uh, downhill. Uh, Melvin has a lot of, you know, wiggle to him. Knows how to, you know, make moves in space. And then uh, Eckler, he's a uh, kind of like more of the scat back. Knows how to get around blocks. You know, he's kind of the guy who makes splash plays for him. So we just gotta find a way to corral him. To feel like the best running attack you will face this year. <laughs> um, I think it'll be one of the better ones. Yeah. Do you feel uh, this team is on the verge of something? Um, yeah, always. I mean, that's how I felt when I first got in. I feel like we've always had the pieces, but it's just you know putting everybody together and finding a way to make it work. Why? Why is it like now two, two, and one? I mean, the difference. I uh, I think the biggest difference is results. I mean, last year we went zero and sixteen. This year, you know, we we won two games. So, uh, I mean, the proof is in the pudding, really. So, as long as you know we continue to keep this ball rolling, you know. Focus on the things we need to focus on. I think we'll be all right. We just like to see that he mentioned that you know, the turnovers are a result of just better players. Um, is, is that really what it comes down to? You guys feel like you just you have the guys now to, to compete <coughs> at this level and win at this level? Um, yeah, I feel like we have the guys and also we have that camaraderie. I feel like, you know, being this, being in the second year of having this defense, you know, a lot of guys last year, it was the first time, you know, in uh, Coach Williams' defense. So we were trying to figure out, you know, what we're doing, how to play. But, you know, this year's a little different just because, you know, we've understanding the playbook. We've, you know, we've seen these calls before and we're actually allowed to play fast rather than worrying about what we're, our assignment. We know our assignment. And now we can just let our ability show. When you're getting takeaways the way you guys are, does that, do you almost feel like when you're in the field, like, hey, one's coming? Like, you know? I mean, that's a, yeah. You always want to go out there, and that's our main emphasis, you know, trying to take the ball away, trying to give our offense chances to score. So I feel like every play, you know, you just never know, but we're always trying to go after that, um, that ball, just find ways to win.